Hi everyone, it's Elena here from Lavinia Stamps Design Team. I hope you're all enjoying this fabulous fairy festival that Lavinia Stamps has put on for you all. I hope it's going to give you all inspiration with this new beautiful stamp collection and that some of you are lucky enough to go to the open day to meet some of the design team and Tracy herself. For today's video I'd like to share my card Olivia and the Dandelions. Isn't she beautiful? To do the background we're going to use acrylic sprays. So I'm going to be using Sun Yellow, Cranberry Red and also some Mica Spray and this one's Chestnut Bay with a lovely gold mica in it and that's just going to give our card a bit of nice gold shimmer to it. I'm going to use a circle mask and a hill mask just to create our land and our moon and for the moon I'm going to use titanium white pan pastel just to make our moon white. For stamping with I'm going to use Versafine Claire Nocturne, Rainforest and Warm Breeze. A yellow Posca pen and a white Posca pen. I'm also going to use a fluorescent yellow gel pen just to do the details on the dandelions. And then for a bit of sparkle on the card I'm going to use Brusho's Sprinkle It Iridescent Gold and that's just going to give a nice gentle sparkle to her wings on these dandelions and a bit on the foliage. So for the stamps I'm going to be using Olivia, the large one, the set of open dandelions beautiful tall dandelions with its leaves. I'm using the sentiment some see a weed others see a wish. I'm using one of the stamps from the leaf spray because there's two of them and then one of the stamps from the leaf creeper. So Let's get started. So I'm just going to spritz the front and back of my card and then just place it into my inking folder. I'm going to start off by using this lovely Sun Yellow acrylic spray. So I'm just going to give that a bit of a shake. Then I'm going to spritz that just coming across down the middle, just diagonally. So we're just going to give that another spritz with some water. And then I'm going to use this lovely cranberry red. So I'm just going to do the opposite corners. So I'm going to go from here and then a bit down the bottom there. And give that another spritzing with some water. So now I'm just going to move this around and then place a piece of card just over the top. Close it and then just give it a good rub. lift it open and I'm just going to do one more rub and open it up and there we have our beautiful backgrounds and then I'm going to use some chestnut bay which has got this lovely gold mica in it so I'm just going to give that a quick shake up just to get all of that mica mixed in 
And all we're going to do now is just gently just pop some colour over our card. So I'm just spritzing that just randomly. There. And then we can give this a good dry with the heat gun. So I've trimmed the piece that we did all our spraying on and I've left the piece that we made a sandwich with. So this has been trimmed down to five inches by seven and a half inches. So now we're ready to start to do our inking and stamping on. So I've just popped Olivia into place and I'm just going to get my mask and just position that roughly where I want her to go. So I'm just going to pop that just off the middle a bit. And then I'm just going to gently just draw around that just using my pencil. Then I'm going to use some titanium white pan pastel. So now I'm just going to pick that up. Now I'm just going to gently just lighten our moon or our sun. So I'm just going to get that going just gently around here. And then with my rubber, I can just gently rub out my pencil mark. And then just tidy up my moon. So I'm just going to make that a little bit more round. There. So now we can pop her back into place and I think we'll just have her just about there. So I just want to make sure she's straight. There. For stamping with I'm going to use Versafine Claire Not Ten. So I'm just going to pick her up and then just ink her up. So I want to give that a real good ink up. And there we have our beautiful Olivia. So we just need to now just create our ground just to ground her and I'm just going to have this coming down at an angle and for blending with I'm going to use Versafine Claire Warm Breeze. So I'm just going to pick some of that ink up and then we're just going to gently start to blend that coming down. And then I'm going to use the same hill mass that we did to create our ground with just to put another hill in the distance. So I'm still using my brush, not picking up any more ink and we're just going to gently just blend that so that we get a lovely hill or a lovely land in the distance. I'm going to be using the tall dandelion so I'm just going to place that just under her hand. And for stamping with, I'm going to use Versafine Claire Nocturne. So I'm just going to pick that up and then I'm going to pop a 
a piece of copier paper just about here just so that the dandelion is in line with the fairy so I'm just going to ink this up now Stamp a bit more. There we go. And then stamp. And then we're going to have another dandelion just about up here. So we can have a play now, just seeing where we want our next one to be. I think we'll pop that one about there. And then just ink it up. So we're slowly starting to create our beautiful scene with the dandelions. The next lot of dandelions I'm going to use is the open dandelion. So you get this lovely, beautiful dandelion that's already opened up. So I'm going to ink that dandelion up in Versafine Claire Nocturne. And there we have one of our dandelions. So we're just going to build up now our scene. And then I'm going to use this dandelion that isn't open yet. So I'm just going to pop that just down in this bottom left corner. And to start with, I'm going to use Versafine Claire Rainforest. So now I'm going to use the leaves that came with the tall dandelion and I'm just going to use this big one but because I'm using a big block I'm going to put the other one on just to balance out my stamping block. So we're going to ink up the big dandelion leaf first and we're just going to position that into place so I think we could just have that one there to give that a good press down and we're just going to build up our scene at the bottom just by stamping some of these dandelion leaves So I've just gone back to using the tall dandelion and now I'm just going to stamp that in Versafine Claire Knot 10 and then I'm just going to pop a piece of copier paper just over that dandelion and then I'm going to stamp it. just need to rip a little bit off and then stamp.
So I'm going to be using this beautiful leaf spray and I've just put it onto a small stamping block because I'm only going to use the top half. And I'm just going to stamp that up, put a bit of ripped copy paper down and now we can just do some gentle foliage in the background. Now I'm going to do a bit of stamping up just using this lovely sentiment Some see a weed, ever see a wish and I'm going to use Versafine Claire, not Turn but I'm going to stamp that in second generation of ink so we're just going to ink the stamp up stamp it and then we're going to do this all in second generation So I'm going to be using this lovely stamp, the Leaf Creeper, and we're just going to have that just coming down along the top. So I'm going to use Versafine Claire Warm Breeze. So I'm just going to ink that up and then we can just position that just over the top here. And now we can start to build all of this lovely colour up. A fluorescent yellow just to do my dandelion. And all I'm going to do is just do loads of little dashes. There. So if I just get this started.
so if I just bring this up you can see all of those little dashes on the dandelions and then for these three dandelions that are closed I'm going to use some brain seal watercolour pencils so I'm going to use the dark green first and we're just going to gently just colour that in there and this one down here there we go and then I'm going to add a bit of shadow just underneath where she's standing so we're just going to build that up now then I'm going to go back to using some white pan pastel and then with my applicator I'm just going to pick some of that up and we're just going to gently just blend that around our dandelions so I'm just going to gently just blend that in and this last one there I'm going to use my white uniball pen and now we can just start to create some highlights on Olivia so I'm just going to follow that down and then I'm just going to use my finger and then I'm just going to do some little detail just here from the highlight from her then down onto her feet there. and do her back then over her back and we'll just do a bit of highlighting on her face and all I'm doing is just using my pen and then just using my finger just to blend it into her there. and then just do her hand top of her arm there. and we're just going to blend that down there. and then over this side And then we can just do a bit of gentle highlight on our closed dandelions. So I'm just doing a little line with a bit of a squiggle and then just using my finger just to blend it all in. Just so that we get a nice soft gentle highlight on it. I'm just going to do some little circles just random over our card so we can just have these going around just doing these little dots just randomly I have some down at the bottom here going to be using some Brusho's Sprinkle It Iridescent Gold so I've just put some water into my lid and I'm just going to put a bit more so I'm just going to spritz that in and then I'm just going to use my brush in the water and then I'm going to pick some of that up so I don't know if... so I'm just going to get some more up and we have a 
a lovely gold iridescent. I'll try get another lot. You can see all the sparkle, but you'll see it better when it's on the card. Now time to glue it onto our card blank. And there we have the finished card. So if we lift this up, you can see our lovely dandelions, the lovely bit of shimmer on her wings, and the bit of gentle sparkle around the dandelions and in the foliage. Thank you for watching. Hope you all enjoy the rest of the fairy festival and please take care. Bye for now. Bye.